Hi, welcome to Tamara's Timeless Beauty, where we talk about all things anti-aging, which I prefer to refer to and think of as pro-aging, gracefully aging. We do lots of skincare here, which is a super big passion of mine. We do a lot of makeup, which is super fun and creative, with some health, wellness, and nutrition sprinkled in. You know, it's all important if we want to look and feel our best at any age, but particularly as we get older. If this sounds interesting to you, I would absolutely love it if you would hit that subscribe button and join our community here. I have some wonderful subscribers. We have great conversations in the comments. There's lots of sharing of ideas. We're having a lot of fun and I'd love to have you join us. With that being said, Today's video is along the health and wellness category. I haven't done one of these in a while. Been doing a lot of skincare and makeup. So health and wellness. And the topic is beauty sleep. Super important. Uh, now sleep itself is deserves its own video because it is so important for your mental clarity, for your mood, for your energy. Sleep is when your body repairs and restores itself. And ideally, if you get a good night's sleep, your seven or eight hours, which is minimal for me, it's critical for me, and very often I will wake up after a good night's sleep and I'll feel refreshed and I'll feel energized, ready to face the day, and then I look in the mirror and oh my gosh, puffy eyes and pillow creases all over my face. And you know, back in the day, when my skin was a little bit more resilient, those pillow creases would fade fairly quickly, but now they tend to stay for much, much longer than they used to. So it's frustrating to feel rested and refreshed and look in the mirror and you just look like, mm, you know, not so great. Okay, and I've tried different things, you know, caffeine creams, the jade rollers, there's all kinds of things to treat the puffiness, but the bottom line is why? Why, are, why am I getting this puffiness and these pillow creases? So let's talk about our skin. As we get older, the skin around our eyes thins. It thins quite a bit on the eyelids and on the under eyes. And at the same time, our body doesn't quite distribute and manage fluids in the super efficient way that it did when we were younger. So we can have some pooling of fluids. When we get pooling of fluids, on, on our eyes at night, that thin skin doesn't hold the fluid back like it used to, and you wake up with puffy eyes. To make matters worse, we know our collagen. We know that over time, as we get older, our collagen production decreases. We've talked about this a lot in a lot of different skincare videos. All of our serums, our retin-A's, our nutrition, we're, we're trying to protect and build our collagen, but even so, our collagen just is not as bouncy as it used to be. And when your face isn't as bouncy as it used to be, when you squish it into your pillow at night and create eight hours of squishing your face into your pillow, you, the skin just doesn't bounce back. So you wake up with puffy eyes and pillow wrinkles, pillow creases on your face that take a while to go away. And what I didn't realize until very recently is that, and if, if you think about it, it makes sense. Night after night, week after week, year after year, squishing your face into your pillow, that pressure and that friction actually degrades your collagen, further decreasing your collagen, which is the last thing we want. Sleep is supposed to be restorative and reparative, right? But if we're squishing our face into the pillow, that friction and pressure hurts our collagen, which is the last thing I want. I want to protect the collagen that I have left. You know, I have long been a very dedicated side sleeper. And not only that, I have had my down pillow that I can squish up into a nice little ball and smash my face into this at night. And I have had more than one esthetician be able to identify which side of my face I sleep on, and it happens to be this side. And I don't know if you can tell with my camera, but I think uh, my nasal labial fold is deeper on that side, and that is related to sleeping on that side. So at 60, 
it's a little late to change my habits, but I have been for the past few years sort of on the lookout for how can I change my habit? How can I start being a back sleeper? Is there a pillow that can help me do this? And I remember a few years ago, Angie, hot and flashy, I know I mention her a lot. She was my gateway to YouTube, so I, I watched a lot of her videos. Anyway, she had a wedge pillow that she showed on a video several years ago and her head was quite elevated and she said it helped her sleep on her back but when I looked at it I thought I there's I didn't think I could do that you know sleep is too important to me and I didn't think I could sleep with that pillow and about a month or two ago I saw a video I can't remember who did it it was on the sleep and glow pillow and it looked very interesting and at the time, you know, I'm super busy with work and super busy with my channel and I really didn't investigate it very much. And as a, as a new YouTuber, I am now starting to receive email offers from various companies uh, who are offering to send me free product, PR, which makes me a little nervous because I don't really know how to navigate that yet, quite yet. I'm very new at this. But I did get an offer from Sleep and Glow. And that was the only offer so far that really, really intrigued me. So I responded to them and I said, I am very interested in your pillow, but I really do not want to be obligated to do a video in the event I don't like the pillow. And B, if I do like the pillow and do decide to do a video, it's going to be an honest review and it will have pros and it will have cons. And they were agreeable to that, so they sent me the pillow. I was really excited about that. So I got the pillow in the mail. I don't know, about a month ago, and it came in this nice box with a picture of the pillow, and then a pic, you know, really nice box. It came really nicely wrapped in tissue paper, and it comes with this pamphlet of information. So let me read through to you the claims on this pillow, Sleep and Glow. Here are the claims. Younger looking skin helps prevent sleep wrinkles and fight existing ones. Like that, puffiness reduction helps fight morning puffiness and marks caused by contact with the pillow. Check. It helps your sleep. Check. Orthopedic effect. It is Sleep and Glow is developed with, uh, in collaboration with orthopedists to provide you with the correct body position during sleep. Love that. And then the other thing that I found very interesting contains silver ions. Our pillow's material has antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal effects. And I know as a nurse that silver is antibacterial. And in fact, I use the Norwex cleaning claws, which also have silver built into their claws, which make them antibacterial. So I was really interested in that piece. Um, it also came with pretty detailed instructions on how to, over a 14-day period, acclimate yourself to the pillow, and I, that made me a little nervous. So I was excited to get the pillow, but now all of a sudden I'm nervous to take the plunge and actually use it because I'm completely addicted to my down pillow. I take that pillow everywhere. I take it on vacation. I take it every time I travel. It's my security, right? It's my sleep security. So I put it aside for about seven days, seven to 10 days. And I thought, oh gosh, I really need to give this a try. Spoiler alert. I love the pillow. I had absolutely no difficulty acclimating to it whatsoever. Night one, I slept like a baby. I woke up feeling and looking refreshed, minimal puffiness, no pillow lines. I'm sold but I do want to show you the pillow itself. And I took the pillowcase off so you can see the contours of the pillow. I don't know if this lighting is good enough to see this. This is, can you see it if I hold it back? There's a really perfect little indentation here to hold your head. You have your shoulder support here, your neck support, and then these really cool cutouts so that if you are a side sleeper, you can sleep with your cheeks um, elevated off the pillow so you don't get pillow creases. Also, it is designed, yeah, it is designed. This is the back of the pillow. This is the front of the pillow. And I think you can see the back of the pillow 
is a little higher than the front of the pillow. So you have that little bit of elevation that you need for fluid drainage so that the fluid doesn't pool up in your face as much. Okay, I have my hair in a bun. So it is so comfortable. I am gonna tell you, I had absolutely zero problem adjusting to this pillow. It just supports your head, your neck, your shoulders. I'm still a side sleeper, but I'm actually transitioning to a back sleeper. The beauty again is as a side sleeper, do you see? Do you see how this hugs my, hugs my face, hugs my head, and yet my face is not being scrunched up against the pillow. I think it is genius. I have been using it about three weeks. My eye puffiness is greatly reduced in the morning. No pillow creases. I sleep extremely well. I feel very rested. I feel very energized. And I wake up and I feel like I look as good as I feel, which was not the case previous to this. It comes with a pillowcase that fits to the contours, which I'm not gonna take the time to put back on the pillow right now, but it is a nice white pillowcase made out of like slippy tensile washable material. Um, I don't have anything, do I have anything? Let's do pros and cons. Pros. I found it very easy to adapt to. Very comfortable. It really does deliver the claim of reducing puffiness and minimizing the pillow creases. Cons. It's $159, which is expensive. But you do, it does come with a 30-day money-back guarantee and a five-year warranty. I'm gonna stop right here and say this. I do not receive any kind of financial benefit whatsoever if you choose to purchase this pillow. I am gonna link the pillow below and Sleep and Glow was generous enough to offer my viewers a discount code, but I have absolutely no financial gain if you choose to buy the pillow. $159 is a significant price. And this is how I look at it because I am somebody who's very careful with my money. You know, I'm 60 and I hope to retire in the next, you know, five, six, seven, I don't even know how many years, but I am pretty careful with my money. I have to be, especially in this day and age. But this pillow, for me, the value that it is delivering into my life is very much worth that price. I remember years ago, before I discovered Timeless Vitamin C, which is very cost effective, but years ago, I was a regular user of the SkinCeutical CE Frulic and it was $150 and it lasted three months and I purchased that over and over again. So for me, if something really delivers what it says it's gonna do and it works, I'll pay the money. Anyway, I'm not trying to talk you into buying it, I'm just trying to put it in perspective. This is $159, it'll last you at least five years and for me, it has just really added to, you know, it's so nice to wake up and look as good as I feel, you know, instead of feeling rested and then looking like crap. Okay. All right. I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. I also feel, I actually, and you know, I wish I would have had a pillow like this years ago because when I think of all the years of smashing my face into that pillow and degrading my collagen, my precious collagen that I'm doing everything I can to try to preserve and promote, um, you know, it's never too late. I'm glad I found it now, but I would have loved to have found this pillow a long time ago. I think we covered everything. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you found this video helpful and informative. And if you did, once again, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That really helps support my channel. And please take good care of yourself. Stay safe and healthy. Have a wonderful day. And I really hope to see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.